Hello there, kings, queens, and everything in between. I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this house, and if you guys stick along till the end, you will see the fully decorated version right here. Let's get to the tutorial, shall we? What you're going to want to do is make a 3x3 three three area. So you're going to have one corner of a building, count three blocks, one, two, three, then do another one, and then you're going to go on this side, one, two, three, place another block, and one, two, three, place another block. So you have a 3x3 three three little square here. Now this is your entrance. So we walk in, and it's going to make a little T-shape. So from this side going left, you're going to go one, two, three, place a block, one, two, three, place a block, one, two, three, block, one, two, three. You guys get the point. And then once you get to about four, you're going to go right here, one, two, three, block. So you should have a T-shape. Pretty simple. Most buildings I teach are going to be using this method. Um, sometimes differently, but very rare situations. It's it's a must you guys will see so now that we got this I'm gonna show you with the foundation so if you're building on uneven terrain or you're on like a cliff side what you want to do is build stone so you're gonna put stone in between each of the blocks connecting them just like so and then on these corners here you're gonna put blocks like this to cover the log completely the reason you're doing this is because it looks so much more structurally stable has a lot of structural integrity and defense um, and then in this area you want to fill out the floor I fill it in with the darker color spruce I think it looks nice it's warmer it's a warmer cozier color usually darker colors are more compact and cozy whereas brighter colors such as birch wood would make it feel more open so lighter colors help with space darker colors help make it feel cozy and warm so now that we've got this filled in now we're going to get to the foundation. Pretty simple. So, on each of these little logs, you're going to go up by four blocks. One, two, three, four. And you're going to do that to each log. All right? All righty. Now that you have this, you're going to connect all the tops of them just like this. You're going to connect the frame just like the T. All righty. Now that you got that shape, you're going to go right to this middle part, and you're going to connect just like this and divide the squares into four sections. Your left, right, center, and then your center part, or your front, okay, you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, um, on each of the sides, not the back side, but on each of the sides that stick out, you're going to build this shape. You're gonna go up two on each side, right in the middle, you're gonna place a log, one, two, and then destroy the log. So you should have a little pyramid going up by two blocks each. And you're gonna do that on this side. And this side. Now, we're going to fill in the bottom. I recommend you use a lighter color. You can use any block you want. Um, we're gonna fill in three blocks on each side just like this. Alrighty. Let me turn it to daytime really quick. Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, now that we got that filled in, on the entrance right here, you're going to put an upside down stair, upside down and normal stairs on these. So these are your windows. You're going to have it just looking like that. Stair, upside down stair. Stair, upside down stair. And you're going to do that on every side. Alrighty. So every side should have those windows. And then the doorway, you're going to leave the bottom block open. Now, on the foundation, on the entrance, you're going to put three cobblestone blocks, and then on these little pillars you have on the corners, you're going to put just cobblestone facing up, and you're going to have it leaning against the log. So it's going to look like it's holding up the support on the corners. Just like this. The reason I do the framework, or the foundation, is it, it, you just feel nice. You just feel like you're sitting on your little throne up top, looking down on these peasant pigs. Just kidding, I love you, Piggy. Okay, now that we got that done, um, for now, I think we should block these off right here. Just fill in these little holes, just like this. Okay, now for the center part, on these corners, you're gonna go up by four blocks again, just like that, and then you're gonna connect them just like so. Okay, 
Now on the two wings, the left and right wing, you're going to do that roof to it. You're not going to do the front. So right here, you're doing up two. Oh, whoops. Up two. And on this side, up two. So now you have a second little level, and it should be looking like this. For the sake of building the roof, we're just going to block off. We're going to fill these up by three like we did the first floor. Okay. And on the back side right here, you're just going to do bottom stair, top stair. So you should have a window there. The other side should be left open. Now, to do the roof, it's very simple once you get the hang of it. So instead of doing a normal pyramid with one block just doing stairs, you're going to do block on the first layer, and then on the second layer, you're going to do stairs. So on this one, on this side, you do block first, and then stair. On this side, you're going to do block, stair, block, stair. Just like that. You're going to do that to every side. Alrighty, so you should have it looking like this on each side. You're going to have block stair, block stair, making a little pyramid. Now, on these logs that cross the beams, you're going to use your darker stairs, and you're going to cover them just like this. Oh, well, god dang it, there we go. Okay, just like that, you're going to skip this side. These are your open faces. You're not going to build on the face of the building, but you are going to build on the sides. So on the back, you're going to go one, two, three, just all the way back, just like that. Now, on the back side, right here, on the pillars that go straight up, you're going to take a log and you're going to poke it out just like that, because that's going to look like logs are holding up the second beam, giving it more structural integrity. And we're going to continue on with this side, skip the face, and then we're going to build just like that. So now that we got that on the top, you're going to place dark logs just like that along the top. So it should be looking like this. Now on the face side, you're going to have your stairs pop out by one. And then you're going to do block. See where you see the block right here. You're going to do block, stair, block, stair, and then block. And you're gonna do that on the other side. Block, stair, whoops. Block, stair, until it pops out by one. You want the blocks hanging over by one layer. So building, and then the overhang. It's a little canopy. And inside, on these blocks, you're gonna do upside down stairs. So on the left side, you're gonna do an upside down facing this way and this way. You're gonna turn around. You're going to do one here and here, and then right at the middle, you're going to place one like that, facing outward. Okay? And then on the very top, you're going to have one upside down stair popping out, and then you're going to have one going like this until you get that little hook shape. On the block I'm looking at, you're just going to place a slab. Just like that. And if you need to rewind, go ahead. I'm going a little fast, I'm sorry. Um, and then you're going to, on this little beam section, you're gonna do block, or half slab. You're gonna go up to this block and you're gonna do a lower slab and then connect it up like this. So you should have a shape like that. It's a nice little arch. And then you're going to place a lantern or a torch, just like that, to give it some light. You're going to do that shape on all of the sides. Alrighty. So your house should be looking like this. It's looking really good so far. Really good. Now, for this upper building, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to destroy that block. Now, on these logs, 
you're gonna do what you did on the other roof just put some blocks first then do stairs once you get the new idea of how to make a pyramid roof I recommend you do these rooftops I'll show you why I think these roofs are the best in the game um, not only are they just a little bit taller and nicer looking they also provide so much extra space you can turn a tiny house into a double decker just with this roof or a two-story not double decker oh my gosh <laughs> and you're gonna do logs on the top dark logs and then down here you're gonna destroy this block until you see the beams and you're gonna do dark spruce or just your darker block this is your face you're not gonna build anything on it and you're gonna do that on both sides okay now that you got this shape see how it's not overhanging by one you guys know what to do we did it on this roof I'll walk you through it you're gonna do stair your dark stair you're gonna come in and do an upside down stair then you're gonna do block stair and then do an upside down stair on the back of that stair block stair and then right on the middle you're gonna do upside down full block and then you're gonna do that on the other side stair back block stair upside down block stair and there you go you're gonna pop up the roof by one like that you're gonna come over and do what you did on all the roofs so there you go you should have a shape looking like that and repeat that on this side alrighty now your roof should be looking like this it should be looking complete and connected now right on the top middle you're just going to place a slab like that to give it that nice symmetry and it's where the middle will connect up with the roof to make it look more structurally stable so now that we got this going something I want to show you guys something that makes roofs look really amazing especially with, especially with these double step roofs you can destroy some of the stairs and replace them with full blocks here and there just a couple blocks you really can just kind of go crazy with it and it adds a nice thickness to it it adds almost like damaged or layered shingles um, I, th I find it really nice looking it kind of just breaks the symmetry it kind of has that nice you know happy little accident look to it And there we go. Look at that. The roof looks so nice now. It's nice and uneven, but still has texture. Another thing you can do is with these basic planks, it looks kind of plain. All right, so something you guys can do, these walls are looking a little plain here. Just take some stripped oak or whatever block you're using and place some in there to break it up and give it some texture. It adds a little bit of texture and it still keeps a similar color palette so it looks really really nice a lot of minecraft building is just color palette if you can nail a color palette that's half the battle it's a nice color palette oh my gosh let me set today again sorry all right geez during my testing i've been building that house forever trying to get it ready <laughs> It didn't rain once, so it goes to show you this game. As soon as I click record, the game's like, Heck, let's mess with Noah's recording, shall we? Making my life problematic. Okay, just break a couple blocks here and there. You don't have to do, you don't want to overdo it. I don't think you really can, but looks a little nice. There you go. And then do some glass panes in all the windows. I should have some, right? Here. All right, so. You should have your windows done and back here don't forget the upper back window i always forget that one now something you can do we did fill up these faces and if you want to you can destroy it and place a window um i've never been a fan of that but i know some of my friends do like that that i showed this to and so it's up to you guys if you want to or not i don't think it takes away from the build at all um now that we have that done the inside something you guys can do is in here you have a lot of space lots and lots of space and 
Don't forget to fill in these holes here too. I also forgot to do that. Okay. So walking in, see where these logs connect? Oh man, when did that happen? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Take some of your slabs that match the floor and do some top slabs up here like this. It's a nice floor, but it keeps a lot of space inside and it leaves that beam, that support beam, it looks really nice. So just do that to this first floor here. Alrighty. So this first floor should be looking like this. Now something I like to do is on the right or left side, whichever you guys prefer, destroy the slabs you made. And right in the middle where the windows all connect, you're going to place logs going straight up like this. Also, when you're on this, okay, hold up. <laughs> this is going to get a little confusing, so watch the video really quick. When you're on the second floor, destroy these two blocks just like this. Okay? So your second floor should be looking like this. You'll have your wood pillar going up into the second floor, and it should look like this. Now, where the roof is, you're going to fill in this with any block of your choice, preferably the lighter block that matches the roof, just like so. And then you're going to do the top slabs on this floor too, just like that. Okay, so as I was saying, back to the log, you want to bring this up all the way to the top, just like that. And then you're gonna do a block here. You're gonna go up to and create like a little door frame here. And on this side, you're going to do something, the floor board color, the, oh God, I'm having a brain fart. Get the block <laughs> type um, that you made your floors, get a stair and place the stairs just like this. Go one and then do slab, slab, stair, slab, and then you can do another upper slab like this and then fill it in like that. You should be able to fit. So now you have a little spiral staircase. I'll fill in that too. Okay. And then I put some fences here if you want to. It's a simple decoration. Let me get some fences. Oh, whoops. Come on, you. I do some fences like this. A nice little detail to just fill in and back here fill in this little block here and now you have like a little walk-in pantry if you want to you can put some uh, chest here or I like to do a double chest with another chest right here because there's some room to open it so you have a double chest little pantry um, you have a nice little area here you you can do something with a nice little walk-in and then up the stairs here Something you can do is the thing that makes this roof that we did amazing is take some stairs that are the same color, destroy all these blocks. It looks like you're destroying the roof, but just follow me through this, okay? Trust me on this. We're just going to break all the blocks like this. Now, go in and place upside down stairs where you destroyed the blocks. Hold up. I don't know how that got destroyed. Okay, so do upside down stairs just like this on all of the blocks that you just destroyed. Come on, you. There we go. Just like that. Now, a cool trick I can show you if you're using the default texture pack is get some spruce trap doors. And I'm going to show you some. So on these upside down stairs, place a dark uh, spruce stair, just like this on all of them. And then take your trap doors and place the trap door here, and then one on each side, and shut them. So you should have a nice, really smooth archway, just like that, leading into each little section. I think it looks really nice. Then you can destroy this block here on the back and make a little ladder up into the third floor. And here you go. More space to destroy and do some upside down stairs. Oh, whoops. Eh. Oh, I had a full block there. So full block, whoops. And upside down stair, just like that. 
And then if you want to, you can fill this in here and then put like a lantern up there. And there you go. You should have the house done. For being a fairly tiny, just three by three house, it is three stories tall and you have a lot of vertical space. And so there you go. It should be completed. Now down here, if you want to, you can place any sort of plants. You can place sugar cane, bamboo, plants. You can place stairs if you want to just give it more platform uh, foundation. Or you can do what I did over here. And I just built a farm around the whole thing. But that should be it for now, guys. That's the finished build of the starter house. Lots of space. And I will show you guys what I did to that house over there. But first, I'm going to show you why the roof style is amazing. So, this little crappy house I made, this little cute one, I made a tiny just 3x3 three three house, or if you want to count it 5x5 five because of the roof. Um, it's a really tiny house, two blocks up, no room to jump. Now, what I did was this roof is so nice. Not only does it look nice, watch this, inside do the slabs look at how much space is in this tiny house there's so much space and you can climb up this ladder and look at the roof with the upside down stairs the roof adds so much space it can turn this tiny little house to a two-story oh god lightning oh no what I do anyways um I think it looks really nice don't I don't know why I did this with the windows but just goes to show that these windows or this roof style, even on little houses, just adds so much to it. And then this is what I did. So let me show you my house. Biggest hunk on YouTube, Casanoa. Oh, geez. I don't know who said that, but thank you. So this is the nice farm going around here. I built a simple wall, just a couple. It's two, two blocks of cobblestone with stairs on top and mixed in. And inside of the biggest hunk on YouTube's house... I did a nice red carpet, some tables with candles and cake. I made a little walk-in pantry. And then I did a nice little kitchen with some, uh, you know, coffee makers, if you want to call it that. Um, and then up the stairs, I made a nice little storage area right here. And then I have a nice little smithy for crafting and blacksmith station um got some beef fried rice on the wall and some uh i don't know what the heck that is uh uh green blotch uh, pepper um got this dude he's pretty chill and then a nice little enchanting spot i do a whole separate build for an enchanting temple and then up here is a nice little bedroom so at the very top of your little castle you can sleep and I have a picture of myself watching over me, making sure I'm safe while I'm asleep. You got to get the handsome man looking over you. So there we go. Got my nice little pretty little house going on. And uh, very, very simple. I think for how small it is and compact, it's nice and cozy. And it's all you need as one player. And I think it's just very aesthetically pleasing, especially with the wall. It's very defensible. And I think it's amazing. So there you guys go. Yeah.